Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about something that has probably plagued many people, such as yourself, when it comes to arranging items on a web page. We're going to look at how to center things vertically and horizontally, and I'm going to show you how to do that using the Flexbox. And let's get started. So as you probably know, centering content vertically and horizontally has historically been very difficult and it's been very hacky as well. You know, arranging things horizontally, it's pretty simple. A lot of your inline content can be centered by using text align, and a lot of your non-inline content can be used can be centered using the margin zero auto trick. But the thing is, centering things vertically, that's where the real challenge happens. And if you want to do things vertically and horizontally, that adds another whole layer of complexity. And the existing solutions you have today involve nesting multiple parent elements into other elements, and it's just really messy, and I never liked any of them. So what we have today is called the Flexbox layout, also known as the Flexible Box. And it's a newish CSS technique, and I'm saying newish because if you look at the statistics and how many browsers support it, it's a lot. It's probably hard to find browsers that don't support it anymore. And what it does is pretty simple. It's a layout technique that affects the containers of your content. On those containers, you can specify how the children, the items inside them, get arranged. You can specify their size, order, and location. And that makes it really great for what we're trying to do, which is center things vertically and horizontally. Now, before we move on, I should let you know that Flexbox by itself contains a whole host of functionality, a lot of features that really make it easy to lay things out on a page. But I'm not going to talk about all of what Flexbox does. That probably deserves a video of its own. Instead, I want to focus on just the things you need to know to center your content vertically and horizontally. So the 15 second overview is this. On the parent container, set the display property to flex and that puts the container into flex layout mode. And also on the parent, remember, Flexbox affects primarily the parent, set the following two properties. Align items to center for vertically centering your content and the justify content property to a value of center to horizontally center your content. And now this is pretty simple, right? So let's go ahead and write some markup to see how all of this ends up working. So what I have here is a very simple page, really nothing going on here, just uh, an empty page with a body element that I, a body style rule that I'm just providing a background color for and setting a padding on so you can see the content pretty quickly. So then go ahead and create two div elements. I'm gonna create one div and then inside it, I'm gonna parent another div inside it. And I'm gonna give the outer div first an ID value of outer and the inner div, which I'm gonna create right now, I'm gonna give it a ID value of inner. Very, very clever naming by me here. So as you can expect, just creating these two divs, you're not going to see anything that is expected. Let's go and fix that by adding some style rules. So I'm going to style, I'm going to specify the selector for the outer element first. Let me give it a width and height, width 400 pixels, height 400 pixels. And let's give it a background color as well, just so you can see it better. I'm going to give it a background color of Let's just keep it like a dark gray. All right, so now you see the outer outer div element showing up. Let's go ahead and also go ahead and define the inner element. Let me give this one a width of 100 pixels. Height of 100 pixels, you know, just keep them all squares. Let's give it some background color of, of yellow. Let's make it like a bright, bright color. Okay, that's a little too bright, probably hard to, probably hard to see it. Let's make it blue. That's a really hideous kind of blue, but that's okay. You know, We're not trying to create the most beautiful example here. So what I have right now is I have an outer div that is dark gray. I inside have a child element. I have a child element called inner that is currently just blue. And what I wanna do is center this blue, cir blue square inside my outer container. And so using what we just looked at earlier in our slides, the first thing I'm gonna do is make sure the outer container isn't using the default layout techniques, but is instead uh, adopting Flexbox. So I'm gonna say display colon, the caps lock off, flex. And once I've done that, you know, you'd expect something magical to happen. Nope, nothing happens. It's just, you know, in flex mode. And the interesting thing is now when I set align items, that set it to center. And once I've done that, notice that now the blue square is now arranged vertically in the middle. And let me set justify content to center as well. And once I do that, notice that the blue square is now horizontally centered as well. So basically, by setting these three properties, display flex, align items, and justify content to flex, center, and center respectively, you basically get very easy centering both vertically and horizontally. 
So that's actually extremely cool because, like, you know, if you've never done this before, you know, consider yourself very lucky that you're learning for the first time a very clean and simple way of arranging content on a page. But if you had to do centering of content in the past, you know, you probably appreciate how much easier this is. So with that, if you have any more questions, you can always post in the forums at formatcrypt.com. To learn more about this and other techniques, of course, go to crypt.com itself. And if you have any, you can contact me directly at, at Krupa on Facebook and on YouTube. And I'm also on all over the various places. So just Google my name, find a way to contact me. I'd be happy to answer your question. And of course, most of what I record a video on, most of what I write, is in some book that I've also written. So by all means, go check out some of the books. They're available on Amazon, in Kindle and Paperback Editions, and sometimes even in a real-world store. Yes, they do exist. And with that, I'll see you guys next time.